what's going on guys i'm your boy here and today i'm bringing guys another division 2 build video hope you guys have been healthy and safe out there and in today's video i'm bringing you guys a assault rifle dps build now with this build the way it's set up it's not really focused on increasing our crate hit chance and crate hit damage much with this build we're more focused on increasing our weapon damage and also amplifying our weapon damage with the talents we have on this build so hope you guys enjoy and let's grant the build so firstly with this build we're using the firewall specialization tree so this is going to be giving us that shield that helps increase our weapon damage and also we're getting 30 percent health on kill and also the armor kit that's going to be healing not only our armor but also our health at the same time and now we can start off with the weapons for the build so for the main weapon for the build i'm using the police m4 now you do not have to use the police m4 uh, you can use whatever assault rifle you want. I was getting up to like 700k crits with this weapon. So if you use something with a higher total damage like an AK, you'll probably be getting 800, 900k crits. So uh, yeah, if you want to do that, you definitely can. Now this weapon has damage to target out of cover, which is multiplicative. It also has a talent close to personal. Killing your target within 7 meters grants 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. And this is how we're going to be helping our build with increasing our damage. Now, if you don't want to use close and personal, you definitely can use in sync or even measured. And um, yeah, we're mostly just going for stuff that's going to increase our weapon damage. Now, if you do want to use killer, you definitely can, but I would say it's not really. Um, you could do that. You could do that, but this build I would say is much more focused on increasing our weapon damage. So yeah, but with this build, we are able to crit. Not I wouldn't say a crit a lot like compared to other builds with maxed out crit hit chance but we do crit every now and then so yeah now for the secondary weapon for this build i'm using the exotic shotgun the scorpio now you don't have to use this weapon if you don't have it or if you don't want to um but i'm using this just because i like to use this with my um dps builds so yeah now this has a talent septic shock, shooting a target applies stacks of venom which lasts for 10 seconds, increasing stacks and more severe debuffs to the target. So one shot you get poisoned, three you get in the soil, and six you get shot, and seven the target takes an additional 40% damage from all sources and stacks only increase. So this is going to be helping us output more damage with this weapon as well. Now that's it for the weapons, now we can start off with the um, gear for the build. So first let's start off with the mask, we're using One Piece Gilligard and we're specifically using the uh, chill out version which is giving us two, um, what's it called, uh, gear slots instead of like, not gear slots but uh, mod slots instead of uh, a regular version which will only give us one. So we are able to roll, um, well not roll but put two protection from lease uh, mods on here which is going to be helping us have much more resistance to those uh, yellow bar enemies. Now with this build, since we are using Gilligard, we're not, I would, once again, I, this is not like a tanky type of build. We're sitting at 1.3 million with the way I have it set up. So um, yeah, that's why I have this here. So we can have a bit of like survivability with the build. Now uh, we also have this modern with create damage, but I would say we, uh, with the whole build, everything is modern create hate chance and create hate damage. So we can have like some crits so we can crit sometimes so yeah now we go down to the chest piece for the build i'm using one piece fairness group for the extra 10 percent assault rifle damage now if we look here i have the talent intimidate while you have bonus armor it amplifies total weapon damage by 35 percent to enemies within 10 meters so this is also how we're going to be increasing our weapon damage as well now we have protection from leaks modded on here and also on our backpack as well now we go down to the next piece of gear for the build I'm using 3 piece walkers and code for the extra 5% uh, weapon damage, 5% damage to armor, and also that 5% damage to health. So, this is also how we're going to be increasing the damage we output without going too much into crit hit chance and crit hit damage. And now we can go over to our next piece of gear for the build. Now, for the knee pads, we have our second piece of walkers and code. Now, I have this roll with armor instead of weapon damage. So if you don't have this roll with armor, you definitely could just uh, keep it with weapon damage if you want to, or you would have to farm for the um, like something that already is rolled with crit chance or crit damage so you could get that armor. And if not, you definitely could take off one piece and put on something like um, one piece bolts on army for the extra one percent armor regeneration as well. That's definitely a good choice if you want to do that as well. Now we go up to our next piece of gear. 
Now for the gloves, this is our third piece of Walker Harrison Cole, which is giving us that 5% damage to health. And that's it for the gloves. Now we'll go up to the backpack for the build. Now for the backpack, we're using the exotic backpack, the memento. Now this has a talent kill confirm. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide both a short and long term buff. The first of which scale with the number required to be equipped and last 10 seconds. So for every red crystal beat, we get 5% weapon damage. For every blue one, we're getting 10% bonus armor. And for every yellow one, we get 5% skill efficiency. And with this build, we have 4 red quad attributes. So that's going to be giving us 20%. Um, for the blue ones, we have 3. That's going to be giving us 30% bonus armor. And for the yellow, we have 1. So we're only going to be getting 5% skill efficiency. And also for every trophy collected, you gain additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and also 0.1% uh, armor regeneration for 300 seconds. And that's going to give us a maximum of 30 stacks. So at max stacks, we're getting 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and also 3% armor regeneration. And that's it for the gear. Now we can start with the skills we're using for the build. So for my first skill, I'm using the Striker Drone. So uh, this... I wouldn't say this is mandatory, you can use whatever you want here. I'm mostly just using this to help distract enemies and it's also doing a little bit of damage to the enemies as well. But uh, you can definitely use whatever you want here. Now we can go over to my next skill I'm using. I'm using the Striker Ballistic Shield. Now this is the shield that's going to be helping us output more damage. So with the way I have the build set up and also the mods I have on here, we're getting an extra 13% damage bonus per enemy. And also with the mods, I have one that's giving me 1% damage bonus per enemy and also another that's giving me 5% damage bonus per enemy. And that's it for the skills. Now we can start off with the stats for the build. Let's first start off with the weapon stats. I'm sitting at 93,000 weapon damage. Now this is without any buffs going, the memento stacks or anything. And we're also sitting at 43% crit hit chance and also 103% crit hit damage. So with this build, we do crit a good amount. But I wouldn't say it's like, you know, the forefront of the build. So, yeah. And also for our other weapon, we're sitting at 918,000 weapon damage, 38% crit hit chance, and also 112% crit hit damage. Now that's it for the weapon stats. Now I'll just go down to the defense stats for the build. So for the defense, we're sitting once again at 1.3 million armor. We're also getting that 3% armor regeneration when we're at maximum stats with the memento. We're also getting at 30% health on kill. And also we are sitting at 48% um, protection from leaks. So that's from our mods that are on our PC gear. And also that mask being able to have two mods. So, you know, we're getting, instead of 36, we're getting 48% because each mod is 12%. And um, yeah, that's basically it for the build. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted, but now I'm back to like actually um, feeling better and wanting to post videos again. So um, yeah, and also I am streaming right now. I stream, I would say Monday to Friday. I'll usually post a video and then go ahead and stream. So if you're watching this right now, I'm probably streaming. So go ahead and, you know, come by, follow, and uh yeah that's basically for the build hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video